Marlins looking for the fifth straight win over the Mets, coming off a 20-inning marathon win on Saturday. Top two, Justin Ruggiano at the plate with two men on. He'll hit one up the middle, and Omar Quintanilla starts the nice 6-4-3 double play with a glove-handed flip to second base, so John Neese is an out away from escaping the jam without any damage. But the next batter is a Danny Echevarria. He had the game-winning hit on Saturday, and here he'll shoot a single into right field to score Marcel Ozuna and give Miami a 1-0 lead. Tom Kohler getting the start for Miami Sunday. Bottom three, the game is tied at one. And with the bases loaded, David Wright sends one deep to center field and it's over the head of Justin Ruggiano for a two run double. It's three to one Mets at that point. They'd add another run in the frame to make it four to one. Top six now, same score, two men on for Ozuna. He'll send one deep to right center field and that's in for extra bases. Two runs come across on the double and the E8 from Juan Lagares. The Marlins cut the Mets lead to 4-3 and Nice was done after six and two thirds. Top eight now still a one-run game when Derek Dietrich steps in against Mets reliever Scott Rice. Dietrich hammers that one right field. It's deep. It is gone in a hurry. And this game is tied. And look at Dietrich sprint around the paces. That was the only batter Rice would face. Dietrich's fifth of the year knots the game at four, and these two teams are headed for extras for the second straight game. And in the 10th inning, with two men on, Echevarria hits one to the right side off Bobby Parnell. It goes off the glove of Daniel Murphy. The E4 allows a run to score, and the Marlins have a 5-4 lead. Later in the frame, it's 6-4 Miami, and Miguel Olivo steps in against Robert Carson. Driven, left field, and deep, and gone! Olivo with a two-run homer. That caps a four-run 10th inning for the Marlins, and for the second straight game, Miami downs the Mets in extra innings. On Sunday, your final is 8-4. to four. So Chad Qualls picks up his first win of the year in this one, and Bobby Parnell takes his third loss. The Miami Marlins have won five in a row against the Mets, and they're 8-3 and three against New York this season, accounting for 44% of the team's wins. And the Mets make a couple of moves after the game, sending three players to the minors, Mike Baxter, Robert Carson, and most notably, Ike Davis.